So welcome back to Bush Tally Dye. Thank you. And it'd be really interesting to hear a bit more about some of your illustration guidelines locally here in Christchurch. You know, what, which areas you've covered and, and what you actually covered in the guidelines themselves. These the, ones here? Yes, these four. Yep. We've got four from the Port Hills, the red one on the red volcanics. Yep. The centre of Christchurch uh, with the green one out west on the gold and the coast on the Fantastic. purple. Over the Port Hills in the Littleton Harbour Basin, we've got this one. And that covers right through to Diamond Harbour, the whole Littleton yep, Harbour the Basin? the whole basin. Uh, so you get a street map and you can locate your street and then it's colour-coded to what is the ecosystem of your place. Okay. So the dark green is a, a kakatea forest mm -hmm. and here a totara forest yep. and here a lace bark forest. Oh, so you get these patterns and then you get the patterns from the soils, yep. um, from the old alluvial patterns through the city. It's fantastic, that really builds up that image of what Christchurch would have been like. Yeah. It's a very rich, diverse um, area of forest very and diverse. Swamp, rather than just a low, flat swamp. It that wasn't just flat swamp, mm. that's right. I mean, I came through, um, walked through Peterborough Street one day, and they, this 10 years ago, when they were excavating for the convention centre, and there were all these stumps, all these stumps. I had to get my gum boots, go in, have a look. It's totara stumps all through that site. And I talked to the project manager, rang him up, the council, and said, can we get a stump out and display it? Yeah. And he said, no, they're so common. They're all through the central city. It's all old forest. Yeah. I said, but people don't know. Yeah, exactly. They think it's just flax. Yeah. Yeah. But they wouldn't do it. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. Because I think if people could see yeah. some of those old stumps mm. yeah. and that there were these great floods that came down the Waimakariri and wiped out, smashed off. They were broken. Yeah. Smashed um, trees. Yeah. And there would have been fires as well, but yeah. there's been yeah. big floods. Yeah. And the diversity that belongs here, well, I think that's wonderful that we know. So not only is the flora internationally important, because it's so different mm. than anywhere else, and, and New Zealand is so diverse through it, so each part is different yeah. and special. So what we did was for each different type of land in the city, we developed... The, the list. Mm -hmm. you know, we gave it a name and a colour, <laughs> which you've got to do, if you like me. Um, so we, you know, if it's Kekatea type country, then we've uh, identified the, the tall trees, you know, tall shrubs and trees and shrubs and ground covers and the climbers and so on. And then uh, the particular conditions mm -hmm. that they like, oh, right. recognising yep. that they are in that, you know, we describe the soil and yep. so on, recognising in that sort of country they need the more moist or less moist or more sun or more shade. So recognising that. And so looking at the trying microclimates to, within the ecosystem there. Yes, yeah. yes. And um, so that hopefully there's a quick reference guide mm. for people mm. and that they, the whole idea was they didn't have to buy a whole book Yep. People, once they see what what type of system, they can just get a shopping list. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I know yeah. some there you've got things about food there as well. Oh, so yes. Tell us about the food. food is really important. Um, we've got in here um, the plants that are particularly good for, for the uh, birds and the lizards, mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. food plants for yep. them. Because uh, that's really important, and we've got some of where the invertebrates are particularly fond of. Mm. Yes, mm. it's important we yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think about we're in Manchester Street, and the amount of bird-distributed native plants that I get in my—I've got a green roof. Yeah. And I should keep a record. Yeah. It is amazing. The amount of bird-distributed plants yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, has that increased from the time you've been there, do you think? Yeah, well, I've got a, I've got a caprosma hedge with heaps of oh, berries, yeah, yeah. and I've got a malacitis planting with heaps of berries, yeah. and carpetitis, and pseudopanax, and lots of fruits for the yeah. birds. Yeah. But they, so they come for them yeah. and bring others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's wonderful. Yeah. You know, it's wonderful. And there's a lot of insects, mm. huge amount of invertebrates mm. on my green roof. Yeah. Huge amount of yeah. invertebrates. So that brings more birds. Yeah. So yes. It's about recreating the ecosystem you're talking about. It's not just about the plant suite. It's yeah, like you're really so recreating that. Even though I've got a really simple, modernist courtyard, 
the elements are there to bring. Yeah. It doesn't have to be wild and woolly, which yeah. some people yeah. don't want. Some people will, but yeah. some people won't. Mm. But if you have the elements, mm. yeah, mm. But that's what you can still, you mm. can still bring nature and enhance nature in the city. Mm. Yeah. So it's very inspiring, I think, for people who want a more contemporary design yes. in their garden that don't want yes. to be looking sort of wild. No, they don't. Sort of need, Some no. Of like that. Yeah. no, they don't necessarily want that. And, and a lot of people don't have room for yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, I'm amazed. I've had skinks turn up yeah. in Manchester Street. Because oh, oh, oh. you know, I've got all these yeah. things with berries and yeah. there. Yeah. They must have come down the Avon corridor and thought I'll take a lift up Manchester <laughs> Street. <laughs> nice place, yeah. <laughs> 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 and I think that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And I have um, the native jasmine. Yeah. So uh, taking the climbers out too. Got native jasmine, the monarch butterflies. You yeah. wouldn't believe. Yeah. Just amazing. Yeah. So you know, it's good. Yeah. It's good. And we can. So by providing what's local, and get what's distinctive, but also what's robust. Yep. So you can have low maintenance. Uh, Sure, there's never no maintenance, yeah, yeah. but you can have low maintenance because if you choose things that belong, that are happy there, that belong there, then they're going to be the minimal hassle. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we try and have like zero runoff situations mm-hmm. and you know, mm-hmm. try and make it that you're really responsible and sustainable. Well, this, your own yes, place. so yeah. if you use local plants, yeah, yeah well, that's another, mm-hmm. that's another plus, plus in that regard. Yeah. Yes. So where can people in Christchurch get hold of these guys? They used to always be at the service centres. Now they're at the Botanic Gardens Information Centre. But shortly, I hope to put them on our our own website. Fantastic. Um, And the City Council will put a link. They've offered to put a link so that then people can um, Can access, download them. Because... When we did them, 1995, you know, there wasn't, colour printing was very expensive mm-hmm. and, all, and there wasn't web friendly yeah. then. Yeah. But now it's a different world. Yeah. So um, we're going to try and get them onto the web so that people can just pull down their list. Mm. And do you find mm. that most of these plants are available locally in nurseries, you know, locally grown stock oh, in local nurseries? Things have improved enormously, yeah. Yeah. yes. Uh, and But people should ask if they're locally grown mm. because some garden centres will buy in plants propagated in Taranaki or mm. something, and that's different. You'll find Pitospora and Tenuifoliums, you know, different form right. brought in from elsewhere. Kofi from yeah. a different form brought in from elsewhere. So they should ask. Yeah. And they, they should not, ask. And they may not grow so well in our conditions here. No, so, yeah. that's right. They mightn't grow so well, and they're also not necessarily adding to our genetic base, yeah. are they? Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic, and thanks very much, Di. It's been lovely talking to you on the park bench. Oh, it's nice to be sitting here on this park yeah. bench talking about our local plants. Fantastic. <laughs>